Dear students, I hope you all are doing well. The question for today's video is three point charges are located on a circular arc as shown in the figure below. The first part is what is the total electric field at P, the center of the arc and the second part is find the electric force that would be exerted on a negative 5 nanocoulomb charge placed at P. So this is the figure on which we have to work. We have three charges so for our simplicity we have marked uh, this as charge 1, charge 2 and charge 3. Uh, our first task in this question is to find out the electric field of these three charges and then we will find out the total electric field to complete part A. We know that electric field is given by KEQ over R square in which KE is Coulomb's constant, Q is the magnitude of the charge and R square is the distance between the charge and the point till which we have to find out the electric field. So we have all the values known in our diagram. We just need to substitute these values in a standard units and find out the answers. So for field 1, we have uh, 8.9 exponent 9 that is Ke. Charge Q is 3. We just have substituted in, in uh, standard unit. So we have converted this nano into minus 9 exponent 9. And then for because it's in centimeter to convert it in meters, we have to substitute it as 4 exponent minus 2. So we have find out all the three forces. Now we have to find out the total electric force and for that uh, we have to make a simple table. So this is the simple table. Okay students, uh, this is my x component and this is my y component. These are the uh, fields which we have uh, find out and this is e1, e2, e3. Now why do we have components x and y? Because if we see the diagram clearly we will see that uh, this point charge is inclined towards point B whereas this point charge point 3 is also inclined towards B so means they will have X and Y components as well because they are inclined at certain angle so we have to find out the components and then only we can find out the total electric field now to find out the components we need to uh, memorize few things that we discussed if we have a positive point charge the direction of electric field will be away from it so the direction of electric field will be like this if I make a free body diagram it will be like this okay and then if I try to uh, break it in components how can I do that I have to extend these lines for that so this will be my first component and then this will be my second component according to head and tail rule. We know that if this angle right here is 30 degree then this angle right here would also be 30 degree. Now because this component is adjacent to the uh, angle so it will be E1 cos 30 degree and since this is opposite this one is opposite to 30 degree angle so it will be E1 sine 30 degree means this is my x component and this is my y component if i we have the value of e1 here we have find out 16856 if i multiply it with cos 30 i will get 14598 and even sine 30 will be 8428 now just see that this x-axis is towards positive x-axis and this y component is towards negative uh, because its direction is downward so it's towards negative y-axis. So don't forget to mention the signs or you can say the directions. Right students? Now if I see the point charge to the second charge this second charge is negative so we know that the direction of negative uh, or we can say that the negative charge attracts electric field towards itself so the direction will be towards this side right and because it's 
totally in x direction we don't have any y component so uh, uh, it will be only 11 to 38 and that is x component and there will be no y component for the direction its direction is towards negative x axis so do not forget to mention the direction or you can say a negative sign do not forget to insert a negative sign now for charge theory that is this we have to uh, again uh, we know that this is a positive point charge so the direction of electric field will be away from it so the direction of electric field field will be like this and if I make or if I try to make a free body diagram or uh, I can say that if I try to split it in components the first component will be like this and the second component will be like this according to head to tail rule and since the uh, angle is 30 degree right here the angle right here will also be 30 degree so now we can say that this component as uh, this one is opposite towards the 30 degree angle so it will be e3 sine 30 whereas this angle right here it's adjacent so it will be e3 cos 30 degree so we know that e3 cos 30 degree will be 14 5 9 8 and sine 30 will be 8 4 2 8 now for directions we can see that these both are in the positive uh, uh, x and y direction so we can simply put positive with them right students now we only have to add up all these values to find out the total electric field so if we see that this is negative 8, 4, 2, 8, this is positive 8, 4, 2, 8. So this will cancel out whole and we will get 0. Means there is no y component in total electric field. And if we see x component, so this positive uh, 14, 5, 9, 8 and this positive 14, 5, 9, 8, we will get 17, 9, 5, 8. 9, 5, 8 Newton per Coulomb. And we can say that because it's a uh, positive 17958 so we can say the direction of electric field is towards the positive x axis now we have part B in part B we were asked that if we substitute a negative 5 nano coulomb charge at this point P so what will be the electric force we know that electric force is given by simple formula that is fe equals to e into q we have total electric field and we have uh, the magnitude of charge as well total electric field is 17 uh sorry it will be more convenient if i round off this figure so if i round off i will get approximately 1.8 exponent 4 newton per coulomb right so uh, I can say that total electric field is 1.8 exponent 4 and the charge is negative 5 so negative 5 and to convert it into coulomb or we can say in a standard unit we have to multiply it with exponent minus 9 so when you will multiply you will get minus 9 exponent minus 5 newton so you can say that this negative sign indicates that my uh, force on this charge on uh, negative 5 charge will be towards the left so this is the uh, question for today i hope you like uh, the video do subscribe my channel and share with your friends